One of the biggest flex in my Power BI skills is the ability to make really awesome data models. And the way I can do that is because I know how to transform the data really well, which came by learning one single thing that is the M language in Power Query, because I was able to transform really complicated data sets. Now here is how you can also learn the M language. What you have to do is keep in mind this particular idea that you have to start learning from small code to big code. And there are three ways to do that. Number one, when you're working in Power Query, what you have to do is you have to start practicing right the M code in the smallest window possible and that is the add columns tab. That's where you start writing it. The good thing about that is that even if your code errors out, your errors are still going to be contained in a single cell in a column but your query will still be working and you'll not freak out if the query has some errors. From there you move on to the formula bar and you don't start writing the formulas right in the first shot. You start tweaking the formulas that the M user interface is giving to you. Once you feel more confident, then you can make bigger tweaks and you can start writing formulas. From there, you move on to the final stage by writing the entire query in the advanced editor of the Power Query window. And that's where you genuinely unlock a lot of capabilities of Power Query. In case you're interested to learn the M language, Black Friday is going on. My course is pretty damn awesome. There are about a thousand students in my course. I invite you to join that. Cheers.